salam and greetings to everyone hope you all are fine so if you are a complete beginner and want to learn java from scratch this video is just for you in this video we will discuss about what is java why do we need to learn this language how do we set up java in our pc and where we can type our java code or where we can do our programming and finally run our first program and print something on the console so what is java it is developed by oracle corporation it is a high level language class based and object oriented programming language well what is object oriented language i will talk about this in my future videos but now to get going java is very easy to understand and you can easily code in this language how java works suppose you have written some code like print and you have you want to print message okay so java compiler convert this to byte code which is something like this and then java interpreter will convert this byte code into much machine code which is obviously 101010 binary numbers and the conversion of byte code to machine language is done by java virtual machine or jvm and then after reading machine code computer will print code it out so why do we need to learn this language so we can make mobile application especially android apps desktop application web application and games and according to glassdoor the average salary of a java developer is more than 80000 dollars per year Okay so how can we set up java in our pc so first of all you have to type here cmd command prompt and open command prompt okay after opening it you have to type here java hyphen version okay so it will check whether java is already installed in our pc or not so at at this time java is not installed in my pc so i have to install java so how can we set up java in our pc so for this we i will first open my google chrome and type here jdk download okay so after searching for jdk download uh, you can see the top most link open it uh, because it is from oracle.com okay so after opening the link you will see java development kit jdk so what is this jdk uh, it is java development kit it means that it contains all the necessary items which we can use to develop java application okay so you can choose your desired operating system from here my is windows so that's why i'm going with windows and i'm going to install this version 64 installer okay so click on it and it will ask some verification okay so it is downloading so after the downloading will be completed so i will be back okay it is downloaded and i have placed in my desktop this is the file which is downloaded so i will open it and install it in my pc so installation is completed and we have to close this window and after closing so we will again open our command prompt to check whether java is installed in our pc or not so we will type again java version so it is installed in our pc so we will close it and 
Now, JDK Java is completely installed in our PC. So the next step is we have to find an IDE where we can write Java code. So I am using IntelliJ IDEA. So there are multiple IDEs. Uh, you can go Eclipse. You can go for Eclipse if you are working on Eclipse. So that's fine. You can work on Eclipse. But I am using IntelliJ IDEA. You can click over the download button and we are learning so that's why we will not go for ultimate because it is a paid version and we will go for a free and built-in open source version so you will download this version to start your coding in Java okay so download it the installation I am skipping this installation because its installation is very easy you can install without any problem okay so I am skipping this installation and I will open my IntelliJ so I have already installed and downloaded it and installed in, uh, in my PC so that's why I am not doing this again you can install it in your PC if you have no any editor but if you have Eclipse you can do programming in Eclipse so you will confirm it and continue okay so after opening this window uh, we will select a new project you can select add sample code if you want to add some sample code some template this will generate some template for you so it is asking me where you where I want to save my project so I want to save my project in my desktop so that's why uh, first I have to create the folder here or in my on my desktop so that's why I am creating new folder So, I have selected my Java project folder in which I will create this Java program. I will, I am creating this project. Now we are going to print our first message which is Coditron. So for printing to console we have to use system dot dot out dot print ln. Okay. So what this line will do? This line will just print the message on the console okay so print any string over the console what is this it is a message so i am printing this over the console so you will see this type of button run main.java so click on it and it will run your java program 
okay so after running this program you can see the message code itron is successfully printed over the console so that's all if you have any query comment me